So all this dolomite here, this is the exact same stuff that Dolomite Island is made of. That's why I call it Dolomite Island because it's made out of the same ledger dolomite. It outcrops in this direction, kind of heading uh, south, I guess, southeast. It's not like this, it's like this. Whoosh. By the time you get down Shocks Mill Bridge, which is right there, it's pretty thick exposure. But imagine this, I mean, this snow right here, Right now, this is probably two, three feet off the water, right? So imagine this same dolomite, but add another 15, 20 feet straight up like a plateau. And that's what Dolomite Island is. That's why I want to go there to see if there's enough height for uh, interesting features to be carved out, maybe some caves, maybe some little natural bridges type stuff. I mean, I don't know. There may, it may be nothing. It may be just be a little look like this, but there could be something. There's the cut that goes in between the Northern Island and the Middle Island. So I'm gonna take a water break and figure out what we're gonna do, all right? So far, so good. I am impressed, impressed again, how much of this, how much of these islands are just bare sculpted rock. Let's go see what the interior of this island looks like. That's a first for me. I've seen a lot of things wash up from this river. That's the first time I, I've seen a whole intact TV. I'm seeing some deer tracks here. Right there. Yeah, these are these are deer tracks. I pretty sure. So maybe there's some deer up in here. Yeah, they're everywhere. Look at this. This whole area is covered. Look at the way, look at the way the mud is cracking and drying here. What's that? like some type of some type of buoy like a warning buoy it's orange and it has these little uh, hexagonal reflective patterns on it I need a weed whacker sorry not a, a web whacker. I need a web whacker these islands can get uh, pretty buggy webby they can get pretty nasty on the interior sometimes. Not all the time. And I, I, I don't have my glasses on because I left them in the car. Uh, because I don't want to bring them out here and lose them in the river. So I can't see as well as I can with them far away. If there are deer, hopefully we can detect the movement. Oh, big web. Oh, jeez. I got webs everywhere. Oh, ah, Jesus. Oh, there's nothing worse than a, oh, than a fresh web right in your face. There, let's get this. This is a swampy place. Let's go over there. You got these patches of sunlight and these ex same exact plants. Look how tall they get when they're exposed to the direct sunlight. And then you come down here and boom, they come right into the shade. This is where I think the deer might be. If the deer sleep on this island, I'd imagine they would make their, their little beds in one of these. Let's see if we can get around here. Also got briars. No machete today either, so no glasses, no machete. Puts me at a disadvantage. Yeah, see this right here? This little patch.
even looks to be a faint tra trail here, maybe. So I have seen refrigerators before, old refrigerators that have been in the river for 50 years. You can tell usually by the design sometimes. This looks like a pretty um, new refrigerator. It's a whole refrigerator by Visani. I never heard of that. Um, uh, should we open this up? Does it open up? Uh, oh, jeez, it opens up. Okay, now, uh, let me get my gloves on. So you find this refrigerator on an island in the middle of the river, and you just gotta wonder what's inside. Now, it, I don't see any like tape or anything, so. All right. Let's see what's behind door number one. Uh, 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 oh. Wow, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, um, that was gross. Let's see. Oh, jeez. Okay, what's, <laughs> stick with me, guys. Don't bail out on this video now. This one's a little jammed. Oh, there it is. Uh. Oh, God. Ah, it's refrigerator stuff. Oh, still had like, like cold cuts in there or something. I don't know. All right. Wasn't a body though. Hey, so there's that. <laughs> I'm getting like snake vibes here. Anybody else getting snake vibes here? What's this hole right here? Huh, that's weird. I mean, maybe not weird, but... So this is the island, the river is right there. We're probably two feet off the river level where our feet are. Gentle slope, and then there's this very clearly defined hole. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's switch angles. So here's the rim of it right here. Yeah, again, it's a bad time to be here because it's the sun's right overhead. But if you follow my stick, there is a very clear bowl-shaped depression right here. And it just uh, has debris in it. I wonder why that's there. Is that a scour hole? Maybe because when the floodwaters came over here, Maybe this is a spot where it scours out. I don't know. It's not very high right before it, though. I would expect this rim of it to be a little bit higher for that to happen. I mean, it's definitely a, a hole. Or, a, sorry, a depression. A closed depression. Man, there's lots of dragonflies here. I mean, there's hundreds of them. They're everywhere. You guys digging this video please subscribe ding dong that bell for notifications all right we're getting a little elevation here <laughs> we might be five feet off the river there could be a, a cabin on this island <laughs> got spider web in my mouth what's that that's like one of those pumps pump spray units you use to uh, spray bug repellent insecticide what's this all right there's there's a clearing oh. huh look at this guys this looks like a road hmm Yeah, this is, this is maintained here, obviously. So 
somebody comes here and cuts this. Huh, that's neat. So this is like, this is the core of the island. This is the center of the island right here. It sure seems like somebody com comes here and cuts this down. I was told by some guys I, I ran into who were fishing out here when I was filming the, uh, Gut, Road, the Gut Road Archipelago episode. That's a good episode if you want to familiarize yourself more with this area and see what the islands are like. But I was uh, talking to these guys, they were kayak fishing, and they said there are cabins on some of these islands, uh, seasonal things, and then there are some ruins of old cabins which were too damaged, and they just, they're left to rot and molder on these islands. I thought it would be kind of cool if we could find, if we could find some cabin ruins. But yeah, look at this. I mean, this is like, it's like a campground here, right in the middle. Let's see where they come in, because they're coming in here with a, with a weed whacker, I guess, right? I mean, they're not gonna, you're not gonna bring a, a mower out here, so this must be weed whacked. And I think we found their port of entry, right here. White Cliffs of Canola. Yeah, this is it. This must be where they come up. Or maybe where the deer come up. Because there's a trail right there. And there's also some wood and a tarp. This looks like maybe a piece of an old cabin. And here's the cut that we came up during that episode in the kayak. We came right up here and then we went right down there. And you can hear the riffles that you go through. Although this, this looks different than I remember though. 